This video will demonstrate how the Radiant One VDS can be used to build a hierarchical virtual view based on relationships between objects across multiple data sources. There are two data sources involved in this demonstration. One is a database that stores customer, order, and product information, and the other is an Active Directory containing employee data. There is a relationship between the order table in the database and the employee accounts in Active Directory based on the employee ID. The purpose of this demonstration is to build a hierarchical virtual view showing employees followed by a sublevel containing orders they've taken. Below each order is the customer account that placed the order followed by a list of products purchased. The configuration steps include extracting the schemas from both the database and Active Directory and then building the desired virtual view based on the existing relationships. The Schema Manager tool is used to extract the schemas from the data sources. The database schema is extracted first. The first step is to con enter the connection information to reach the database server. This includes the server name, port, database name, as well as a user and password. Once the connection is established, the desired tables must be selected. The metadata is saved into an XML-based configuration file and will later be used as a basis for modeling the virtual view. After the extraction process, the schema file is displayed in the Schema Manager. It contains the table names and attributes along with the relationships existing between the tables based on defined keys. Next, the Active Directory schema must be extracted. A connection to the server needs to be configured. The connection information includes the server name, port, user and password, along with a starting point in the Active Directory tree to locate the employee entries. This is known as the Remote Base DN. After a connection to the server is made, the object class associated with the employee entries is selected. The metadata is saved into an XML-based configuration file and will later be used as a basis for modeling the virtual view. After the extraction process, the schema file is displayed in the Schema Manager. It contains the object class definition that was selected during the extraction. Now that both schemas have been extracted, the View Designer tool is used to build the desired virtual view. The first step is to load a schema file. In this demonstration, the Active Directory schema is loaded first. The virtual view is going to represent a list of employees. Therefore, the top node in the virtual view is modeled on the user object class.
All needed employee-related attributes are declared for the virtual entries. The Runtime Preview tab offers a quick glimpse of the virtual view which consists of a list of employees from Active Directory. Once the virtual view is complete, the view file is saved. Next, a virtual view from the customer database will be created. The first step is to load the schema from the database. The top node in the view definition is based on the orders table. Attributes related to orders that should comprise the virtual entries are selected. A sublevel is added to the view definition based on the customer table. The relationship between orders and customers is the basis for building this part of the hierarchy. All needed customer-related attributes are defined for the virtual entries. The last node added into the view definition will be based on the product table. The indirect relationship between customers and products through the order details table is used to build this part of the hierarchy. Once the view from the database is finished, the file is saved. Finally, the Runtime Preview tab is used to display the virtual view. The view is based on orders, and below each order is the customer that placed the order, followed by the list of products purchased. Now that the two virtual views are built, they can be linked based on the relationship between the employee ID in the orders table and the employee ID in the Active Directory account. To merge the two views, the view built from Active Directory is opened in the View Designer. Next, the link is established between the Active Directory employee node and the order node based on the employee ID attribute. The default link condition needs changed slightly since the relationship between the objects is not based on the attribute that has been defined as the primary key for the parent node. As mentioned, the relationship is based on the employee ID in Active Directory, matching the employee ID in the orders table. The Runtime Preview tab will display the final tree. The hierarchy is based on employees, and below each employee is a list of orders that they have taken, followed by a customer who placed the order, and finally the products that were purchased. 
This concludes the video demonstrating how the Radiant One VDS can be used to build a hierarchical virtual view based on relationships between objects across multiple data sources.